Okay, guys, let us start the class. I am going very slow. Today, I am not going to discuss any subject related topic. Very simple points I am going to discuss. Okay, I don't know. You people are belongs to which background? Some people belong to non IT background. Some people belongs to IT background. Some people working. Some people may not work. No problem. Everybody can understand today's session. I am going very, very, very slow. If anybody do not understand any particular point without any hesitation, please ask me the questions. Understand all of you? Hello. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. First of all, please treat me like your friend. I am not your trainer. Clear all of you? Okay, sir. Okay. And my name is uh, Sainath. Is everyone can view my screen? Yes, yes sir, it is visible. Yeah, this is mine. What is today's date? 10 2022. I'm going very slow, guys. Okay. Listen careful. I am going to start the class with my with my question here. What is my question is? You're all attending for Salesforce demo, yes, sir. Good. Yes. Good. Tell me, what is Salesforce? Any one of you? What is Salesforce? Does anyone knows what is Salesforce? Cloud mm -hmm. com it's a cloud also known as a cloud computing part. The cloud computing. Okay. It, it's cloud a CRM. It's a CRM tool. CRM. Okay, it's a CRM tool. Okay, good. Vendor company. Uh, vendor company. Very good. Salesforce is a cloud company provide cloud services. Okay, it provides some services. Very good. All of your answers are right, guys. All of your answers are correct. Somebody told that it is a cloud computing. And somebody told that it is a CRM tool. And most importantly, Salesforce is a vendor company. They provide some services. Whatever answers he given me, that is 100% correct. That is no doubt. But above all, I need to tell one important point. Actually, In IT industry, we are all in software industry, IT industry. Yes or no? Speak out. Yes, yes, yes. Software industry and IT industry, we have two types of companies are there. How many? Two types. Two How types many? of companies. First type of company is called Product based so vendor company. Vendor companies can also be called as product based company. Product based company. So, is anyone please tell me what are the vendor companies are available in the market? IBM. Like Microsoft. Google. IBM. Very good. Microsoft. Oracle. Oracle. Google. Very good. Oracle. AP. Salesforce. Yeah, very good. Like these companies, Salesforce is also a vendor company. This company started in 1999, San Francisco, California, USA. Company CEO is Mark <coughs> Benioff. Mark Benioff is the CEO of the company. This company runs on the concept name is called Cloud computing. All of you understand? So once again, I'm repeating, guys. Listen carefully. In IT industry, in software industry, we have two types of companies are available in the market. The first type of company is vendor company or product-based companies like IBM, Microsoft, Google, Oracle, SAP, Salesforce. These are all vendor companies. There are so many companies are there in the market. 
of course, I wrote very few things. Like these companies, Salesforce is also a vendor company. His company started in 1999, San Francisco, California, USA. This company's CEO is Mark Benioff. This company runs on the concept name is called cloud computing. It is not Salesforce. We can call it as salesforce.com. What is this? What is the company name? Salesforce.com. The short name is called SFDC. Short name? SFDC. SFDC stands for salesforce.com. D stands for dot, C stands for com. Salesforce.com is the company name. This company started in 1999, San Francisco, California. The company owner is Mark Benioff. Actually, Mark Benioff is the ex-employee in Oracle company. He resigned the job in this company. He started his own business in 1999. This company runs on the concept name, it's called Cloud Computing. This is the background history of Salesforce company. I hope all of you understand this point clearly. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Okay. The second type of company, the second type of companies are development companies or service-based companies. The second type of company, development companies or service based. Understand all of you. Tell me some names about a development company. TCS. TCS. Wipro. Capgemini. Wipro. Capgemini. Accenture. Yes. Cognizant. Yes, sir. Yes. Infosys. Someone need to mute, guys. Someone need to mute. I'm getting some noise from you. Abhishek, please mute. Infosys. Mahindra. Like there are so many companies in the market. These companies are comes under what category? Development companies are service-based companies. Tell me, what is the difference between these two type of companies? What is the difference between these two companies? Vendor companies develops or manufactures software products. Software products like what? Software products like what? Excel. Operating systems. Operating systems. Of programming languages. Databases. Some technologies. Some packages. Like some applications. These are all comes under what? Software products. Suppose take the example of operating system. You know about Windows operating system. Yes or no? Yes. Very well-known operating system. Yes. Operating system developed by which company? Microsoft. Microsoft. That everybody knows. You know about programming language like ABAP. AB, AB. ABAP is a programming language just like Java. That ABAP programming language developed by which company? SAP. SAP. SAP company. You know about Oracle Database. Oracle Company. Oracle Database developed by Oracle Company. Oracle, Oracle Company. Like that. You know about DB2, Database 2. IBM. IBM. Developed by IBM. IBM. You know about Database like HANA. Developed SAP. by SAP Company. You know about SQL Server. Developed by Microsoft Company. Yes or no? Like that. Technologies. .NET is a technology. It is developed by which company? Microsoft. Microsoft. All of you follows, guys. Like packages. You know about MS Office. Developed by which company again? Microsoft. Microsoft. Applications. 
you know about this application name what is application name gmail gmail is an application google developed google. by google the vendor company name is called google like that google company developed gmail application microsoft company developed ms office dotnet sql server windows operating system sap company developed one of the programming language name is called abap Oracle company developed one of the database name is called Oracle. IBM company developed another kind of database called DB2. SAP company developed one of the database name is called HANA. Like these are the vendor companies are manufacturing, are creating, are developing new software products. Using these products, development companies are service-based companies like Infosys, TCS, Capgemini, these are the companies that are developing. Developing what? These are the companies that are developing software services, applications. Using those products like operating systems, programming languages, development companies are developing what? Software applications. These are the companies that are developing software applications. Tell me a simple question I'm asking here. These companies are developing software applications for whom? These are the companies that are developing software applications nice. for whom? Plant. For other Plant. people in the market. Plant. For Those people, we can call them as thought. clients. Who are the clients here? Clients can be called as what? Business people. All of you understand what I'm saying? Clients can be called as business people. There are different kinds of business businesses are there in the market. Business layers are there in the market. There are different types of domains in the market. We have something like hospital domain, hospital business. We have hotels. We have automobile industries. We have telecom industries. We have something like education institutes. We have banks, we have something like insurance companies. We have different types of businesses are there in the market. Yes or no? Speak out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me any hospital business name. Any hospital name? Max. Apollo, Apollo Max. Hospital. Care hospitals. Yes, sir. No. Kim's yeah. Hospital. Max yeah. Hospitals. These are all comes under hospital business. Hospital. These people are doing hospital business. What else? Group of hotels. No. Or Kamath group of hotels. These people belong to hotel business. Automobile industries, you know about this. Tata Motors. Hyundai. Tata. Mahindra and Mahindra. Tesla. Maruti Suzuki, yes or no? So these are all the automobile industries. Telecom industries? Double E. Vodafone. Education Institutes? NTU. Yes or no? Geetam. Manipal. Geetam. Next, Symbiosis. People who belong to Pune, they know about this. Yes or no? Meosis Institute. So these are all belongs to what? Education Institutes. Banking Industries? State Bank. HSBC. ICSA Bank. SBI. Okay. Punjab National HSBC. TSC. SBC. City Bank. Where are money banks are there? Yes or no? Insurance companies, LIC, ICS Lombard, what's our no? SBI Life. Tata AAG. SBI Life. SBI Life. There are many things are there, what's our no? These are all belong to what? Insurance companies. Tell me, their business is different. They are not doing any software business. Their core business is different, what's our no? But yes. these people, these are the people we can call them as what? Clients. Okay, guys? 
these people, these business people, they are going to use what? After application, yes or no? Once again, I'm repeating, listen carefully. Development companies are developing software applications as per the requirement of clients. Thanks. So in total IT industry, in total software industry, we have three important, uh, there are three important key players. How many players? Three key players. Who is the first player? Tell me all of you. Vendor company. Vendor companies. We got everyone. Second one? Developer. Developer. Development companies. Third one? Clients. Clients. Tell me what is the difference? What is the relation between all the three people? Vendor companies developing what? Manufacturing. Manufacturing software. Software products. Develops and manufactures software products. Yeah. And using software products, development companies are developing applications. Software, software applications. applications. As per the requirement of clients. Clients. Indirectly, clients are going to use the software applications. In their business or not? Yeah. Yes or no? Speak out yes. everyone. Yes, sir. Clients are going to use the software applications in their business. What yes. is my question is, if you go 20, 25 years back, do we have hospitals in the market? Yes. Do we have hotels? Yes. Do we have automobile industries? Automobile, yes. Yes. Do we have telecom industries? Yes. yes. Everything is there, even 20, 25 years back also. Yes or no? Yes, sir. But if you go 20, 25 years back or 20, 25 years ago, these people do not use what? Software applications. Software applications in their business. Yes or no? Yes. But today, if you go to any hospital, if you go to any hotel, if you go to any bank, if you go to any incidence company, wherever you go, we can use what, or they can use what? Software applications in their business. We can see systems. We can see software applications wherever you go. Yes or no? Yes. yes. My question is, what is the advantage of using software applications in their business? They did the business. They did the business without using software application. Now they are doing the business using software application. To make it easy. 20 years back, 30 years back, they did the business through what? Speak out. Manually. File system. Yes or no? Mm. They did not use any software applications. They did not use any computers in their business. But now, if you go any bank, if you go any telecom industry, if you go any hospital, or if you go to any shopping mall, wherever you go, if you go to any supermarket, wherever you go, they're using software application. They're having its own systems. But what is my question is, what is the extra advantage of using software applications in the business? The advantage of this software applications. Time saving security. It's very good. We it's increase the sales time. growth. It saves your time. There are three major advantages, guys. It saves your time. Second advantage, it provides what? Security. security. Also, it provides what? Can it use scalability? Yes. And also, you always get accurate information whenever you want. Yes or no? Yes. Whenever you want, you will get accurate information. Decision making is easy for you. Yes or no? Yes, sir. You can take the right decision, correct decision. And also, better service. Yeah, we can provide the better service. You can improve your business. Sir, no. These are the major advantages of using what? Software application. I hope all of you understand this point. How many advantages? Six advantages. What is the first advantage? Time. Time, time saving. saving. For your better understanding, I'm giving a simple example. How time will save? Take a small example. Suppose Abhishek, are you there in the class? Yes, sir. Uh, Abhishek, where you belongs to? Which place? Yeah, I'm from Kolkata. Kolkata. Good. Abhishek belongs to Kolkata. I belongs to Hyderabad. 
Abhishek and myself both are the friends. Okay, Abhishek. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. You are living in where? Yeah, it's Kolkata. Kolkata. Fine. So you have the account in State Bank of India, and I have the account in maybe Punjab National Bank. All of you understand. He is my friend. Twenty years back, I'm talking. Yesterday night, Abhishek called me. Uh, he requested me to deposit ten thousand rupees in his account. So what I have to do? Speak out. What I have to do? I have to go to the bank. There I am going to take. There I am going to take some withdrawal form. Yes or no? I need to fill the form. I need to stand in the queue. I need to wait for some time. After that, I withdraw ten thousand rupees from my account. After that, I need to go to where? Speak out. Yeah. Uh, SBI. SBI. There I am going to take some deposit form. I need to fill the form. I need to stand in the queue. After that, I can deposit some amount in his account. Tell me, the whole process takes near about one one and a half time or not? Tell me, I need to visit how many banks? Two different banks. In the one bank, in one bank, I need to, I need to withdraw. In another bank, I need to deposit. Say yes or no? Yes. Speak out. The whole process takes near about yes, one one and a half time. That is long back process. The same. If you want to transfer ten thousand rupees into my friend's account today, I know, I know, I know, need to go to the bank. I know, need to go to the bank. I simply go to where? I can use what? Speak out. You pay payments. Or I can use school pay. Or I can use what? Speak out. Net banking. Net banking. I can use what? Banking. Mobile banking. I can use what? Paytm. There are different ways I can easily transfer the funds. My account to my friend's account. Yes or no? Yes. If I'm using all these software applications, is it saves my time or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So that is the first advantage of using software application. What is the first advantage? It saves time. your time. Thanks. The second advantage. Security. What is the security here? Take the previous example only. I went to the bank. I withdraw how much? Ten thousand. Then I am talking about twenty years back. Twenty years back, ten thousand rupees is very huge amount. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I withdraw ten thousand rupees. I kept to me. I kept it into my pocket. I am walking down from Punjab National Bank to where? State Bank of India. While I am walking down on the road, somebody is touching my wallet. The whole amount is lost. Yes, sir. No. Yes. Speak yes. out all of you. Yes, yes sir. Means that twenty twenty five years back, if you want to buy something, if you want to do any operation, if you want to do any transaction outside in the market, you have to carry the cash with you, sir. No. Yes, sir. We got. Without carrying carrying the cash with us, it is not possible to perform any kind of operation in the market. Say, sir, all of you. Yes, sir. Once you carry the cash with you, then there is no proper security. That is why, instead of carrying the cash, we people are using what? Phone pay. We people are using what? Google pay. We can use what? Paytm. We can use what? ATM cards. Yes or no? Either debit card or credit cards. So we do not carry the cash. We can use what? Phone pay, Google pay. These are all what? Software applications. Using these software applications, we can buy something outside. Yes or no? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Suppose I am going outside. I drink one coffee. The coffee, the coffee cost is fifteen rupees or twenty rupees. I no need to carry the cash. I can pay through what? ATM. ATM. Or I can pay through what? Phone pay. Google. Or I am going to a supermarket. I want to buy some vegetables. Or I want to buy some fruits. I no need to carry the cash. I can pay through what? Phone, Phone pay. pay or Google pay or, Google. or ATM. Yes or no? So once you do not carry the cash with you, indirectly you are getting security for your cash or not? Correct. Instead of using cash, what we are using here? Software applications. Yes or no? If you are yes. using software application, 
indirectly are getting the security for your cash or not. This is the second advantage of using software application. I hope all of you understand these two examples, time saving and security. Yes or no, all of you guys? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You should understand the point clearly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you from uh, US. Yes, yes or no? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, I did. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> second point is uh, scalability. What is scalability here? Scalability means, as I said, my friend is living in where? Kolkata. And where I'm living? Hyderabad. I want to transfer, I want to deposit 10,000 rupees in this account. What I have to do? I have to withdraw 10,000 rupees from my account, Punjab National Bank. I need to travel all the way from Hyderabad to where? Kolkata. And I need to go to SBA, where he opened the account. And branch only I have to go. There only I can deposit the amount. Why? Because 40 years back, 30 years back, every bank, every branch working independently. One bank and one branch is no way related to what? Other bank and other branch. Every bank, every branch working independently. That is long back story. One software come into the market. One software boom come into the market. We can integrate all the branches. We can integrate all the branches so that we can easily transfer the funds from any bank to any bank, from any branch to any branch across the globe because of what? This is all about what? Scalability. So this kind of scalability, we can achieve through what? We can achieve through? Okay. Take out. Software application. Software application. All of you understand the first advantage? Second advantage and third advantage. We got all of you. Security mm -hmm. and as well as what? Scalability. Mm -hmm. Am I clear this point of my explanation regarding all these three? Yes, sir. Good. Everyone in the classroom. Am I going fast? Please tell me no. Am I going no, fast? No, sir. No, no sir. sir. Shall I go in the same pace? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, all of you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can wrap up a little bit speed. You want me to increase the speed? Yeah, a little bit. No problem. Because this is the first class now, that is the reason I'm going slow. Okay, thank you. Sir. Because some people belong to non IT background. If I'm going fast, they may not understand. Try to cooperate with me, okay? Thank you. Sir. Thank you. So, accurate information. So, if you're using software application, you'll always get accurate information. Accurate means you'll get the correct information. As a decision maker, we get the correct information so that you can take the right decision at the right time. If you take the right decision at the right time, you can improve the business like anything. So these are the major advantages of using what? Software applications. Yeah. Is that I hope all of you understand all these advantages. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Very good. But this is only one side of the coin. This is only one side of the coin. And what is the other side of the coin here? What is this? Ah, difficulties of using speak out. Software application. Software applications in the business. Question all of you. As of now, we discussed about only advantages. Now I'm going to discuss about what? Difficulties of using software applications. What are the difficulties? Listen carefully and try to understand. Suppose I have a company called ABC Company. This company is going to start maybe next year. For my company activities and all, I need some software application. So I given this project to a development company called TCS. TCS is a development company. According to TCS point of view, who is ABC? Client. Obviously, client. That's our wrong. And TCS need to develop the software application, the project, as per the client requirement. If they want to develop the project, or if they want to develop the software application, as per the client requirement, is TCS need some programming language? Yes. Or no? Yes. And also, TCS needs some database. Yes. And also, they need what some operating system. Without programming language, 
without database, without operating system, nobody can develop what? Software application as per the client requirement. Say yes or no? Yes. We got all of you. Yes, so in yes. this particular example, TCS decided to develop the application using C sharp programming language. C sharp programming language developed by which company? Microsoft. Microsoft company. But TCS should not use any kind of pirated software. Yes or no? Yes. Pirated software. TC has, TCS has to purchase. TCS has to buy original, what is this? License. Licensed software from which company? Microsoft. Microsoft company. They need to invest something near about 5 lakhs. And also they need to use some database. Take the example of Oracle database. Oracle database product developed by which company? Oracle. Oracle company. So TCS need to buy Original licensed, original licensed software from which company? Oracle. Oracle company. Cost around how much? No. Near about 15 lakhs, okay. approximately. Yes. Operating system. Suppose Windows operating system they want to use. Again, Windows operating system developed which company? Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay. Cost around 5 lakhs. Tell me, in this example, TCS need to invest how much approximately? 30 lakhs. 5 lakhs on C sharp programming language, 15 lakhs on Oracle database, and 5 lakhs on operating system. Altogether, altogether how much here? 15 lakhs. 30, 30 lakhs. lakhs. Including Oracle database, 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs invested by TCS. They developed the application as per the client requirement. And tomorrow, my client and client employees are going to use this software application. If they want to use this software application, they also need C sharp programming language, and also they need Oracle database, and also they need what? Windows operating system. Without having this software, this application cannot run. Yes or no? Yes. That is why. Your client also need to invest how much? 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs. And also they need to buy original licensed software from these vendor companies. In this example, total 60 lakhs business coming to companies here. People. Yes. Vendor companies. 60 lakhs business coming to vendor companies. All of you understand? Yes, Tell sir. me, yes. among these three people, clients, development companies, and vendor companies. Vendor companies. Among these three people, among these three people, who will get more business? Vendor companies. Vendor companies. And one more important point is, we are in software field. Yes or no? The software field, Versions keep on changing or not? Yes. We got all of you. Yes. Whenever version will change, they need to update the software or not? Yes. Whenever they update, again, we have, they have to install. install. And also, they need to, what is this? Maintain the software. software. What, what is the meaning of maintaining the software? They have to maintain the. They have to maintain the database servers. Bug Sir, pieces. Bugs. Maintaining the database servers, they need to. They recruit. They need to hire DBS. DBS means what? Database administrators. They need to pay the salaries, lakhs of rupees. That's all. No. Speak to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes. So how comes under what maintenance? So, both the clients and development companies, they need to keep on. Upgrade the software. Upgrading the software. They need to keep on installing the software. They need to keep on maintaining the software. Yes or no? Yes. So upgradation, installation, maintenance. Upgradation, installation, installation, maintenance. Upgradation plus installation plus maintenance. 
it leads to leads to increase ha uh, what is this so setup cost the setup cost increasing for both clients and development companies they better they better like any why because both clients and development companies they need to upgrade the software they need to install the software they need to maintain the software on their own all of you understand yes so automatically what will happen the cost is going to increase day by day like anything for both clients and as well as what development companies say sir no yes sir so to avoid this problem that is the reason that is the reason that is the reason only top level companies or i can say premium level companies are using software applications in their business what not what companies small companies why small companies not using software applications in their business because they cannot afford what cost cost you understand the point clearly yes for your, for your better understanding i'm giving a simple example about this you know about kfc kentucky fried chicken yes or no yes sir suppose i am going to the kfc i ordered one burger all of you understand guys i ordered yes, one sir one burger please all of you if you ordered one burger there is a person who is standing using software application yeah there there is a person who is standing in front of the system fix my order he fills the order into the system he gives some token to me i need to wait for some time after that i will get the order say yes or no yes sir yes sir for all of you okay now uh, tell me is kfc using software applications in the business or not yes sir yes suppose in hyderabad i am going to a small bakery come on you guys someone need to mute guys i am going to the bakery i ordered one burger understand all of you same burger i ordered but the bakery owner do not maintain any software application they do not maintain any systems in the bakery they simply take the order they give the order to me that's it yes sir no yes sir tell me in this example why kfc using software applications in their business why not bakery because kfc has got the affordable franchises across the globe yes sir no yes kfc business turnover in broad kfc business turnover in pros pros yeah but where is bakery mm. maximum thousands are lakhs yes, sir maximum thousands only not in lakhs also that is why the bakery owner cannot afford what cost yes, that is the reason bakery owner cannot use what no no i listen come on need to mute guys some noise around you small kid noise don't disturb the class thank you according to this example what you understand is only top level companies are using software applications in their business but not small companies i hope you understand this point clearly yes or no yes sir yes sir okay. good so to avoid this problem if you increase the sorry if you decrease the cost then customers automatically increase or not for your better understanding i'm giving a simple example about this mm. suppose mm, i i wore calvin clean t-shirt which t-shirt pick out as a company t-shirt they wore now brand calvin clean this company t-shirt cost is 5000 rupees now tell me how many people can afford for a small just a t-shirt cost is 5000 rupees out of 100 people maximum maximum 5 people yes or no right okay this company getting how much business 25000 in case if the company reduces the cost from 5000 to maybe 2000 then how many people can afford 
out of 100, at least 60 people or at least 80 people? Yes. 3,000 rupees reduced a year. So 18 into 2,000, how much? 160K. It means that if you reduce the cost, then customers are increasing. If customers will increase, you will get more business or not. Yes. Yes or all of you? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. So that is why here also, if you reduce the cost, then automatically what will happen? Customers will increase. But how to reduce the cost? How to reduce the setup cost? That is why vendor companies come up with a new concept. Name is called what? What is this? Cloud computing. Cloud computing. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing main goal is to reduce the setup cost. If you reduce the cost, then automatically customers will increase. But what is cloud computing here? Cloud computing is a technology. Or I can say it is a concept. In this technology here, whatever IT services we require, Everything will be provided by whom? Vendor company. As a user, we just need only internet connection. Access those. This is. this is the simple meaning of what cloud computing. What is this? It's a technology or a concept. Here, whatever IT services we require, everything will be provided by whom here? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Vendor company. As a user, we just need only what? Internet connection and access those services. And how much services we are using? For that service only we need to pay. This is called a paper use model. Which model? Paper use model. Paper use model. Paper use. How much services we are using? For that service only we need to pay. You no need to pay anything extra. This is called a paper use model. Can also be called as a plug and play model. Can also be called as IT services on demand. All of you understand? Once again, I'm repeating. Cloud computing is a technology or a concept. Here, whatever IT services we need, everything given by vendor company. As a user, we just need only internet connection and access those services. And how much services we are using? For that service only, we need to pay. Okay, that concept name is called what? Paper use model or plug and play model or IT services on demand model. Is this point clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Provided by vendor company. Not provided by. We'll provide by vendor company. Okay. Clear all of you. For your better understanding, I'm giving a simple example. Every day, I want to check my meals and also I want to take Some print out. You understand the point clearly? Every day I want to take some, I want to take my meals and also I want to take some. What is this? Because I want to take some printout. If I want to take my meals or if you want to take some printout, I need to buy some laptop. Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. And also I need to buy some printer. And also I need to buy some stationery. And also, I need to take some internet connection. Yes or no? From ISP. And every mm -hmm. month, I need to pay the rent. So rent cost in the year about 1500 
stationary cost extra approximately 500 printer cost approximately 20000 laptop cost approximately 50000 so altogether i need to spend near about 72 75000 rupees yes sir no for just browsing only 5 to 10 minutes directly instead of investing unnecessarily 75000 rupees instead of investing 75000 rupees unnecessarily simply i'm going to internet center near my home internet cafe there i'm going to check my mails and there i can take the printout now tell me in the internet center who purchased all the systems owner owner yes or no who purchased yes. the printer owner tell me stationary who purchased the stationery who took the connection everything owner. given by or maintained by home here yes. owner as a user, simply I go there and access the services, how much services I require, and pay the amount and come back. If I'm using only 20 minutes, I have to pay 20 rupees. If I'm using one hour internet, I have to pay 30 rupees. Yes or no? Yes, sir. If I'm yeah. using two hours, I have to pay 100 rupees. Like that, how much services I'm using, for that service only I have to pay. I no need to pay anything extra. Okay, this is called what? Paper use model. So I hope all of you understand this example. Here, everything provided by whom? Internet center owner, yes or no? Your yes. laptop, your computer, your printer, your stationery, internet connection, everything given by whom? Owner. As a user, we just go there and access the services and pay the amount and come back. In the same way, here also, in cloud computing also, whatever services you require, everything provided by vendor company, as a user, we just need only internet connection and access those services. All of you understand this example? Yes, sir. Cloud computing is not a rocket science. It's a very simple concept, guys. If you understand this internet center example, you can easily understand cloud computing concept. In the earlier days, in the traditional approach, both clients and development companies they have to upgrade the software, they have to install the software, they have to maintain the software on their own. Understand all of you. But once cloud computing come into the market, installation, maintenance, and upgradation, everything will be taken care of by whom here? Speak out. Vendor, vendor company. Vendor company. Everything provided by vendor company. So automatically, once cloud computing come into the market, both clients and development companies they released, but they released from the button of what? Maintaining the software, installing the software, and also what? Updating the software. All of you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once CC, CC means what? Cloud computing. Come into the market. Then both and as well as what? Hmm. Development companies are release. Uh, what is this? Not enough. We got maintaining. What next? Upgradation. Also, installing. Sure. Everything will be taking care of my home here. When company. I hope all of you understand this point very clearly. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. That is the meaning of what? Cloud computing. But somebody got a doubt. Maybe uh, Abhishek got a doubt here. What is Abhishek's doubt is, sir, I understand the exact meaning of cloud computing and also understand the advantages of cloud computing. That is okay, sir. But last five minutes, you keep on saying that vendor company provides what? Services. Based services. What kind of services? What kind of services vendor company provides? Vendor company basically provides three types of services. Okay. We got three types Software of services. Service. First type of service can be called as IAAS. Second one can be hmm. called as what? PAAS. PAAS. Uh, Third one is called what? AAS. AAS stands for infrastructure. 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 As a service. As a service. 
platform as a service. Yeah, very good. Platform as a service. Software, Software as, as a service. service. Software as a service. Or application as a service. Like that, vendor company provides how many different services? Three, three types. Regarding all these three services, we will discuss in tomorrow class. Okay, guys. As okay. of now, last one hour, we just discussed about only two points. The first point is what is what? Speak out. Huh. What is sales? Sales force. What? Okay. Next point. What are the advantages of using speak out software, software application? Software application. applications. Also, we discussed about hmm, what are the difficulties of using what? Software application. Software application. And how these difficulties are overcome by what is this? Cloud computing. These are the four points as of now we discussed. I hope all of you understand all the four points. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Guys, so shall I go in the same pace? Is all of you understand? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Good. What are points as of now we discussed? All these points I'm showing in the PowerPoint presentation here. Look at this. Tell me, who are the key players in IT industry? Vendors, clients, vendor, vendor companies, or product based companies? Vendor companies. Development. Development. Development companies or service based companies? Clients. Someone need to mute, guys. Excuse me. Don't make noise. Okay. What are vendor companies? Vendor companies are visionary people who discuss in software products. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Like what? Google company, Salesforce, Oracle, Microsoft, IBM, SAP, all vendor companies. Sir, no? Yes, sir. And who is the second person? Development companies. Who develops software applications as per the business? Requirement. Requirement. Who are the people? Infosys, Accenture, Deloitte. Excuse me, Alpana, please mute. Clients, end users use the software applications in there. Clients are end users, okay? Uses the software applications in the business. Who are the end users? Hospitals, banks, automobiles, telecom industries, insurance okay, okay. companies, travel and tourism. Okay, these are all Barclays is the bank, Vodafone is the telecom. Okay, Tata Aliens is the insurance company, Emirates, University of Oxford, it's all business domains. Thanks. Okay. Tell me, benefits of using software applications in the business domains. What are the benefits? It saves the time, time saving, security, security. Yes or no? scalability. Yeah, you will get the accurate information, take the decision easily. You can accelerate your business performance. Yes or no? Problems in traditional system. What are the problems? Both clients and development companies need to what? Upgrade. 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 Need to install and need to maintain the software in their own. Yes or no? It leads to increase what? 
speak out set up cost past, past. to avoid this problem to overcome this problem vendor companies come up with a new concept name is called cloud computing. computing what is cloud computing is a concept or a technology where we will get what all, all it services like hardware and also what software or the internet internet and access those services now all of you understand cloud computing yes yes or the other way around the practice of using network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store manage and process the data rather than local server or a personal computer tell me what kind of services vendor company provides three types what is the first one speak out infrastructure infrastructure as a service platform as a service software i hope all of you understand this yes sir yes sir tomorrow tomorrow class tomorrow class we will discuss about infrastructure what is platform what is software we will discuss about all the three services in tomorrow class clear all of you okay sir okay sir and one more important point before i will end the topic today listen carefully these are the four topics as of now we discussed in your syllabus i am going to cover six modules how many six modules first module is configuration then development integration administration crm and what is it lightning these are the six modules i will cover in your syllabus duration is one time understand everyone okay so we need to chapex programming language yeah in development we prefer using apex your force this thing see guys one important point i need to tell before i close the session today the people who do not have any it background or non it background have any it background or having it background no problem everybody can easily understand this topic we all of you yes sir thank very easy to understand so six modules i am going to cover in your syllabus within the span of 3 months of time okay so if you have any further queries you can ask me regarding today's class hello hi sir yeah. sir one by one uh, one by one at a time yeah yeah, yeah actually myself sukumar first of all, yeah. first of yeah. all is all of you enjoy the session today yeah 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 i joined the sessions and uh, getting yeah. some information as you chaired so i need to ask one thing more so sir actually uh, myself sukmal jain i have around 11 year of experience in it uh, actually my overall ex experience based on db sites Na right now i am doing edl so is it uh, means uh, is it uh, means how to connect uh, like uh, sales force with uh, uh, db sites like kind of thing it will be uh, up skill my uh, careers or kind of things can you can you get more details about it i understood sukmal and uh, which tool you are using in uh, etl uh, actually uh, sir i am using informatica informatica very old tool yeah this is very old tool yeah i know yep okay actually instead of informatica mm -hmm. even in salesforce also we have a concept name is called etl okay extraction transformation and loading okay extracting the data from different oltp systems and loading the data into oltp system that is data warehousing system as yes or no right right yeah, it's correct that very good concept of etl i yeah, know yeah. etl i know informatica understand mm -hmm. actually for etl sales was given for performing etl operation sales was given data import wizard yes okay and also we have something like what data loader mm -hmm. so using these two tools we can perform what operations here 
can extract the data from different databases, loading into your Salesforce, and also you can export. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is very easy for you to understand the subject. Why? Because you already have the background of database knowledge and also ETL knowledge. Mm -hmm. and you, you can easily cope up with what? This technology. Okay. Give me the only area you are facing the difficulty is what? Understanding the program. Okay. Why? Because you do not have any programming knowledge before, I hope. Yes, sir, no? Uh, actually, sir, I have a, I did some experience with the PLSQL. Then okay. Then okay. Then okay. Then okay, guys. No problem. Mm -hmm. no, okay. No problem. Okay. That's fine. Anyway, you have okay. various kind of programming, programming knowledge is there. That is enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's great. Actually, yes. I did the developments uh, around. No problem. So, Kumal, yeah. This is very easy for you to understand because you have okay. database knowledge. Okay, sir. Don't bother about it. But how okay. do you feel about the today's session? Are you the session or not? Uh, actually, I know um, uh, means I, I, I got some inf uh, more information about Salesforce. I actually, before the sessions, I didn't know much about the Salesforce, but I get enough. Uh, informations uh, which i required so i uh, i feel very comfortable so with the technology kind of things uh, that is good for me yeah thank you thank you Sukhman. okay say you understand yes sir actually yes yeah. sure and one important point i want to talk with you personally okay, okay call this what is the best time to call you sir? after completion of this class okay sir thank you Nine double five three four nine double five three. Okay, sir. This is my number. Okay. Yeah, let, let me know. One second. Okay, sir. Okay, guys. I hope all of you enjoyed the session today. Regarding today's class, if anybody have any kind of doubts, you please ask the questions. Uh, sir, after completion the course, will we have to give any kind of exam? Yeah. One important point I need to tell every day. I will share the running notes and also I will share the material. I will share the recordings. I will share the interview questions because I'm working as a corporate trainer for Cognizant. Interview questions. Okay, what happened? And also I will provide the dumps. Dumps. If you want to write any certifications in future, I will provide the dumps also. So these are the things I'm giving you here today at the end of the class. At the end of the syllabus, I will take the mock interviews based on your interest. Okay. Mock interviews means it is one kind of uh, regular interview only, real time interview only. Okay. If you if I feel you're if you are good enough, I will forward the resume to in companies. Okay? Don't bother about this. Hello. Also, try to understand the subject clearly. Okay? Hello, sir. Yeah, who is this? This is Prabhat and I am from West Bengal. Hey, Prabhat, tell me. Yeah, actually I am from the QA automation background, so how it will be useful if I learn this course? Oh, you are in testing side, okay? Yeah, QA automation. Yeah, yeah no problem. We have three chances, uh, Prabhat. You can go as a developer after completion of this course. Okay. Or you can go as administrator. Least priority, you can go as a testing site. Okay. 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 okay, because you have QA knowledge so that you can go for testing site. But if you go for testing site, you will get very less, less salary compared to developers and administrator. And what okay. is my personal suggestion is better to go for development side. Okay, fine. So what are the things since I know uh, SQL, I know Java. Then so, you can go for development side. Anyway, you know about automation. Yeah, yeah, I know. So you have the knowledge in Java. Yeah. So yeah. that you can easily understand that. No problem. Okay, so in three months, yeah. uh, is it possible that I can become a developer? Why not? That depends on your practice. How many hours you are practicing regularly? That is in, that depends. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, good morning. My name is Durgesh. So, in, as uh, previous content, so uh, asked, uh, some also uh, came from a manual testing background. So, I just thought of uh, 
uh, build my career with the sales no problem. Uh, Durgesh, Durgesh, no problem. Yes, sir. Yeah. My name is Durgesh. Durgesh. Yeah, undoubtedly, yes, undoubtedly, you can go for what Salesforce. Because you're already working as QA. One That's more question. Do you have... So is there any other timings uh, which I can uh, follow? Because I work in a uh, US uh, shift. In That's current, not Durgesh, uh, but uh, this is the only one slot I am free. But in future, maybe coming 20 days, I will start a new batch in the evening. Sir, on the same time. Yes, it's uh, three months uh, every day, right, sir? Or it's and only for, uh, no, let me, let me, please. Next 20, 20 days, I will start a new batch in the evening. Hello, evening seven. So you think seven for every day or only for uh, weekends or uh, how it is? So it's every day, uh, eight to nine, three months? Uh, every day, eight to nine, three months. If it is not possible to come down at morning time, I will start a new batch at the evening, seven o'clock. Is it possible time? Seven to eight, sir. Uh, seven to eight, after 20, after 20 days. <laughs> Not now. It's okay, sir. I will continue in this batch so that I can quickly. After that, you can switch into uni time. No problem. Please continue first 20 days. After that, you can switch. No problem. So, we can long hours per weekends? No, no, no. Six days, six hours per week. That's it. That is enough. Sunday is holiday. Sunday is a holiday. Uh, sir, okay. it's Monday, uh, Monday to uh, Saturday. Monday to Saturday. Yeah. Six sir, days a week. Uh, and sir, will we get a recording person at session? A time. One person at a time. Yes. I have only two years. Yeah. Go ahead. And will sir, we get... Uh, sorry, sir. Please continue. Yeah. Pravat. Yeah, actually, I want to know, will we get a recording session every day? For yeah, every day we are, we are sharing the recording notes, recordings, materials, everything we are providing, running notes, everything. Okay, and when we um, when uh, it will get uploaded, means on which site? Suppose today, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, match completed. Then today evening, you will receive the record. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, guys, that's about the today's session, because I have another session immediately at 9.30. Okay, Hello, sir. Hello, yeah, sir. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Pranay. Uh, sir, after taking this uh, Salesforce uh, training session, mm -hmm. will I be leading any another training so that lightning part and whatever the upcoming technology? Even lightning is also covered in your syllabus. Also, sir, whatever you are providing six modules, there will be everything from basic to till the expert level, I guess. Basic to brilliance. Oh, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Basic to brilliance. That, Okay, sir, uh, okay. this is Shakti, sir. Actually, I'm from mechanical background. Uh, actually, yeah. I don't have any experience in software, sir. No Since problem. I... That's what I'm telling. non it students both can understand. Okay. Sir, do we need any server for this uh, thing? Means like SAP or like that? Nothing. Everything is cloud only. You don't need to install any software. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, Shubham, this side, sir. I know that you have already answered this question, but I'm not from... Uh, uh, I don't have any knowledge on programming. So will it be Shubham, this much difficult? Shubham, Shubham Kaushik. Shubham Kaushik. Right. Please believe me. Okay. I will make a master in theme. I will make a master in programming next three months. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Please believe me. Blindly believe me. I will make a master. The only thing you have to practice regularly. Because every time I'm giving assignments to you. Okay. Uh -huh. If you complete the assignments, definitely you will be a master. Okay. No doubt. All Thank you. Yeah, tell me. Sir, Any doubts? Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me. Good morning, sir. This is Vishwas. Mm. Sir, I have a joining as a Salesforce developer. Sir, how I have gained this uh, course as a profitable for me? Yeah, you can, you can you can join as a developer or administrator in any company after completion of this course. You have two types of job profiles. Understand? Okay, sir. Sir, sir is there any certification for this? Yeah, there are certifications here. Admin side, we have two exams. Development side, also we have two exams. Understand? Okay. 
तो सर इज देर सर सर्टिफिकेशन इज मैंडेटरी फॉर द सेल्स फोर्स डेवलपर इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी बट सम कंपनीज आर आस्किंग नाउ इट इज सर्टिफिकेशंस आल्सो मींस आई नो मींस इफ आई नो सेल्स फोर्स दैट इट मींस आई एम अ सेल्स फोर्स डेवलपर इफ आई एम वर्किंग ऑन इट ये ऑब्वियसली ओके सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू sir how you are uh, uh, how you are um, uh, helping us to get the get us certified suppose i am interested in a uh, sales force administrator so like uh, how do you support you want to write the exam certificate exam yes sir, as an administrator okay you want to write uh, certification exam administrator side you want yes, to write correct. yes sir you want to write administration certificate exam or what Yeah, I'll guide. Yes, you. sir. Correct. I will provide the dumps. I will guide you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Sir. Okay. So all of you understand, guys? Yes. Okay. So tomorrow same time eight o'clock. See, guys. Next Hello. batch people are waiting for me. Yes, sir. Tomorrow Hello. same time eight o'clock. Yes, sir. Can I call you now? Uh. Tishu, what is your time now? Uh, it's. Uh... I am in Eastern Zone, sir. It's eleven o'clock. Uh, do you have few minutes for me or no? Yeah, no problem. Go ahead. I, I will call you in person, person, sir. Not here. Fine, fine. No problem. Please call me after five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you, guys. Sir, hello. Yeah, Harshini. Yeah, sir. Good morning, Harshini. Sir, actually, I joined as a sales force trainee in one company. Uh, sir, I don't know about the sales force uh, before entering to the. No problem, uh, no problem, Krishni. Yeah. Already, I I completed two months there, <laughs> and they are going very fastly. <laughs> no problem. Sales, okay, please sales. follow my sessions. Okay, no problem. Sir, please provide your uh, before uh, recording sessions. Uh, so I will go through that recordings and. Uh, I have any question. I have any doubts. Uh, I uh, I will ask in this session. Generally, uh, uh, they do not provide the recordings without paying the fees. That's the problem. So no, sir. I I will pay the. Uh, that is the insured rule. Actually, please call. Please ask the data management. They will provide the recordings. Yeah, I will pay the money, sir. Actually, but yeah, I what, have. Yeah. That's what I'm telling. That's what I'm telling. Please ask yeah, the data yeah. management. They will provide the recordings. Okay. Yeah. So I I I follow your your class every day, but I have any doubts, so I will ask your English class. Definitely, okay. definitely, Harshin. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Guys, guys, we'll discuss tomorrow. The wait people are waiting for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All of you understand the today's Thank class. You. कल्पना